Let's do it. Roll up your sleeves. Buckle up. The Dolphins are linked to some trade rumors from a pretty well-known source. I know you've heard of it. Bleacher Report. Talking all kinds of NFL trade deadline possibilities as we approach that October 31st deadline. And one player the Dolphins are linked to is a guy's name you might recognize because he has established himself as a very impactful and prominent player on the defensive end. And that is Panther safety, Jeremy Chin. Now, we know what the Panthers are. Not a good football team. They've lost a lot of games. They haven't won any games for that matter. So they could be looking to continue to unload some pieces, especially given their draft capital situation. And that is they don't have a lot of picks. So they need to start you know, picking up some draft capital to help out Bryce Young. And Jeremy Chin could be a guy that's on the moves. So before we break it down, I got to ask you, what position is the Dolphins' biggest need before the trade deadline? Let me know in the comments. I've read a lot of the comments. A lot of people want O-line. We've talked about some linebackers potentially, some help in the secondary, maybe even in the offensive backfield. But when an outlet like Bleacher Report starts to put the Dolphins as a possible destination for a star player like Jeremy Chin, we dial it in and we take a deep look at what this potentially could mean. So Jeremy Chin is a guy Played a little college football at Southern Illinois. The Salukis. That's right. The mascot is the Salukis, in case you didn't know. But great season so far in 2023. 23 tackles. No interceptions. One pass breakup before the injury. That's the only problem. We'll get into that in a little bit. But he's a guy that ever since he entered the NFL has been making plays. Here's what we know about him. Second round pick in 2020. And that same year. He came in second for the Defensive Rookie of the Year. So it's a guy that burst onto the scene from the beginning and became an overachiever from day one. He spent all four seasons with Carolina. And he's a guy that has been described as, yes, a safety, but also can roll him up, play a little bit of linebacker. Very, very versatile and can only be an asset to a defense because he can play multiple positions. Also, be a free agent this offseason, so important to note there. Now, as we start to think who could the Dolphins muster up or what type of deal could the Dolphins offer as far as an appealing trade package. And as we put our heads together and kind of just speculate what this might look like, here's what we came up with. It's exactly like the buyer trade that Philadelphia just pulled off with Tennessee to land that impactful safety in Philadelphia. Now, the Dolphins would, of course, receive Jeremy Chin. A little hypothetical action here. And the Panthers, who need draft capital, would get the Dolphins' 2024 fifth-round pick, as well as Brandon Jones. No disrespect to Brandon Jones, but he's clearly not part of the future of the Miami Dolphins. I think his performance in Buffalo was evident of that. And as we talked about, the secondary has a lot of pieces. And so being able to part ways with a guy like Brandon Jones, you could see him finding a new home in Carolina. I think it's a it's a win-win, if I do say so myself. So what do you make of this deal? Would you make it for the Dolphins? It's very simple. Type yes or no. Coming up in a little bit, we're going to tell you some other deals and why it couldn't or could not be done as it relates to Jeremy Chin and whether or not the Dolphins will, in fact, make that move. But first, I got to tell you about prize picks. You know, I love prize picks. It is easily the most fun and exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. So forget any other way to play daily fantasy sports. This is the best, and it's not close. All you're doing is picking against a player's projected stats. You're either picking more or less based on the offering. So forget those complicated spreadsheets. You don't have to have, you know, 12 picks going on. It's real simple. You pick more or less, and it is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform. I love playing prize picks every single Sunday when it comes to the Miami Dolphins. Already have my picks ready to go for Sunday and for Thursday night football because you can mix and match games too. Another neat feature that Prize Picks has going on. So Raheem Mostert, 
I'm going to go ahead and pick more. He was held to his lowest season output last Sunday against the Eagles, and this Patriots defense, they don't stand a chance. So pick more on the rushing yards for Raheem Mostert. And for Tyreek Hill, this one also feels a little bit like stealing because it was the same way on Sunday Night Football. I picked him to have more than 0.5 touchdowns, so obviously just one touchdown there, and he found his way into the end zone. I see the same thing happening on Sunday, so I'm picking more there. Now, Thursday Night Football, yeah, I'm going to be watching. I know you're going to be watching the Buffalo Bills taking on the Tampa Bay Bucks, and why not make it a little bit more interesting, sprinkle in a prize pick there. I'm going with Stephon Diggs to have more than his projected receiving yardage. So that's how it works. Super easy, super fun. And for being a Dolphins fan, you know we got you covered. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS, and you can claim a $100 deposit match. You are welcome. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS, the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. One more time, and don't worry, we'll put it in the description of this video as well as the chat. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Daily fantasy, the most exciting way. Now, Jeremy Chin, that's a guy Bleacher Report is linking to Miami as a possible de destination. Plays for the Panthers right now. Here's why a deal could happen. Happen. Obviously, he's a very appealing player. He's young, he's versatile, he makes plays, second in defensive rookie of the year. Who wouldn't want that? Of course, the Dolphins want that to be a part of their secondary and maybe even move him up and play as a linebacker. Take a look at his career stats. He's been really good in a short amount of time. And although 2023 hasn't been exceptional and he's also undergone an injury, the 2020 stats really jump off the page at you in 15 games, 117 tackles. At the bottom of your screen there, three tackles for loss, an interception. Also had an interception in 2021. And in 2022, 70 tackles and six pass breakups. So it's a guy that when he's on the field, he's a ball-hawking player, whether he's playing a safety position or a linebacker position. Now, Miami's defense could use a boost. They are not exactly getting it done in all walks of life. We talked about the way they've been able to get pressure on opposing quarterbacks, but the back seven has been a weakness. So I do need to give credit to Jerome Baker and David Long. They played a whale of a game Sunday night football in the middle. But the secondary, we got to be honest with ourselves. It has been a weakness for this Miami Dolphins team. They are 27th in points allowed. In the pass defense ranks 20th, run defense 19th. So not really in the upper echelon in any of those characteristics or those statistical measures as it relates to defense. Also, a really appealing part about Jeremy Chin. He can play multiple positions, which is what you look for in a guy in Vic Fangio's scheme because we know Vic Fangio loves to plug and play. He loves to find playmakers that he can do a multitude of things with in his defensive scheme, and Jeremy Chin certainly fits that mold, which is why you can see why the Bleacher Report article linked him to the Miami Dolphins. So, if a deal gets done, you know we will be the first to tell you about it for all your Dolphins breaking news, all your instant reactions. That's why you subscribe so you never miss a moment. So if you like what you see and you haven't done it yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. It takes all of one second and then it's done. And we appreciate it. Also helps keep the lights on here at Chant Sports. So we told you why it might happen and here's why it might not happen. Because I'll be honest with you, the Panthers are eyeing draft capital, right? It's a fire sale. It's our team sucks and we got to get new players type of deal. Other than Bryce Young, I don't think anybody on that Panthers lineup is really untouchable. And that's why I think you're going to see them be one of the more active teams at the deadline. But what they're looking for is draft capital. Make no mistake about it. Here's what the Dolphins have to offer. It's not a ton. They do have their 20 24 first round pick. Obviously, that's not going to be something that the Dolphins offer up to the table. They have a second round pick, but you'll notice the gap there. No third round pick, no fourth round pick, and then the remaining three picks the Dolphins have, fifth round, sixth round, and seventh round. And Jeremy Chin might be kind of 
maneuvering as far as what the trade package must include. It might kind of be in that range of a third and fourth round. So that's one reason why it might not necessarily happen. And the Dolphins, listen, you've, you've heard Mike McDaniel say this. You've heard uh, Vic Fangio say this. And even Chris Greer, when he very less than often comments, says he likes the team that we have. And Mike McDaniel said earlier today, Chris Greer hasn't come knocking on his door as it relates to trade deadline talk. So that tells me that maybe this Dolphins team is going to stand pat. And here's what we have in the secondary right now. There's some guys getting healthy, and there's some guys like Javon Holland fighting some injury bugs in the concussion protocol. But there's a lot of pieces, right? There's a lot of moving pieces here, especially when you factor in Jalen Ramsey coming back to the lineup. And at the safety position, Javon Holland's played really well. You have Deshaun Elliott. Brandon Jones has kind of been the odd man out. And so for that reason, I think he would be one guy that you could offer up in a trade. But again, the Panthers are looking for that draft capital. Now, on the flip side, Jeremy Chin's not perfect. He's currently in the midst of uh, rehabbing from a quad injury. So you don't necessarily want to make a big deal for a guy that is uh, fighting off an injury. But that said, long term, you know, I could see it going either way. So the injury could, in fact, scare the Dolphins off as far as what they have to offer for Jeremy Chin. So a lot to consider, that is for sure, and that's why Chris Greer makes the big bucks. There is no doubt about it. If I were to be a betting man, I don't see it happening. There's a lot of, yes, there's a lot of you know substance to put with potential trades. That's why we see the article on Bleacher Report. But I really don't think this is one the Dolphins invest draft capital in trying to bring Jeremy Chin in when you think about the guys that are going to get healthy and what this team will look like moving forward. So that said, if something does happen, you know we've got you covered. That's why you subscribe, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. But if I were to guess, I really don't see the Dolphins making a move for Jeremy Chin, but the article's out there. So that said, appreciate everybody tuning in, and it's always fun to talk Dolphins trade talk on Dolphins Today.